Hey, this is Wendy with Loaves and Dishes, and today we are going to talk about how to cook chicken pieces in a pan. A friend of mine recently approached me about how to make chicken um, in small pieces or that you would use like for a casserole so that they come out evenly cooked and not with some dry and some not uncooked and um, so that they are all good for something like a casserole dish. The first thing you want to do to do this is you want your chicken cut into similar size pieces. Whether those are small pieces or large chunks, either way, similar size pieces. So you can see here I have a gigantic chicken breast and I cut it in half first like, like a book and then I am cutting it into uh, little chunks. So the main point here is they don't have to be perfect. You can see my knife skills are not terrific. <laughs> but the pieces are all roughly the same size. And if you will um, preheat your pan while you're doing this, then you should be on track for having your chicken ready. Uh, this whole video is 7 minutes and 44 seconds. That's about how long it takes. The only part I cut out of this is um, where I heated up the pan after I cut up the chicken. So just cut your chicken in similar size pieces and you want to preheat your pan. You're going to want to use a non-stick pan. Um, generally I don't recommend non-stick cookware. I'm using a cast iron pan which is as good as any non-stick piece of cookware you will ever have if you keep it seasoned correctly. Anyway, go ahead and preheat your pan to a medium-ish heat and then once your chicken is cooked you're gonna um, add a little oil to your pan. Let that heat up. We're gonna see that here in just a second. There's my pan. I'm adding the oil. Again, this is a cold pan. I had to wait for it to heat so I um, took that part of the video off. Anyway, once your pan is preheated, then you add your chicken to the pan. I'm going to add most of this breast. Um, you don't want to crowd your pan. Pans are different sizes, so um, you just don't want to overcrowd your pan. Like You don't want chicken laying on top of chicken. You'll see I've got that situation here a little bit. I'm going to use a spatula or a wooden spoon or something and spread it out. But um, So you, you want a single layer of chicken. And then you, you know, don't be stirring, stirring, stirring it. You leave it set for a little bit so it can develop a little color. And I'll show you at the end what I mean by that. I had some pieces that, like, I didn't quite cut all the way through. So I'm, you can see that's what I'm doing there. Um, anyway, and then you just want to kind of leave them alone. Let them cook. Go ahead and put your salt and pepper on if your recipe calls for that because one thing about chicken is is that it can really taste unseasoned if you don't go ahead and put your salt and pepper on and layer in that salt. So you may need a little more at the end. I'm just putting a very small amount on there. And you can see I sprinkled it from kind of high up so that it would um, spread out better and be more evenly distributed. But I'm not going to be stirring, stirring, stirring. I think that lends itself to more things wanting to stick to the pan. <laughs> and it doesn't give your chicken time to develop any color, which um, does give it a little bit more flavor. So you can see. It's just cooking away there. See it bubbling around. Some juices will release from the chicken as it starts to cook. So if you notice that there seems to be some extra fluid in the pan, don't worry about it. It's okay. You can see my, my pan needs to be seasoned, <laughs> which maybe I'll be doing that on a upcoming episode. Um, but it's not terrible. It just needs a, it's sticking just a tiny bit. So, there we go. Just make sure they're spread out so they can cook. 
and you can see by looking at my pieces of chicken there, they're, it's not perfect. They're not exactly the same size. Again, my knife skills aren't terrific. Um, but it's good enough to where they all cook through. Now, I'm, gonna ma I'm making this chicken for a casserole that I'm going to cook in the oven. The chicken for this kind of dish does not have to be cooked completely through mostly through is fine because it's going to go in the oven for another 30 minutes and it will cook some more there and we don't want it to overcook because overcooked chicken is just dry and it doesn't taste that great and you know it has its own problems so i think if i flip it once here it'll it'll be more than ready um, we're coming up to i'm going to show you some color on a piece of chicken but anyway, this is all you do. You just cut your pieces the same size, preheat your pan, put them all in at once in a single layer. If you have more than what would be a single layer, then hold some back till these are done cooking. Take these out and then put your other ones in. Um, I think with my friend, the problem was, was that she was cutting chicken, putting it in the pan, cutting more chicken, putting it in the pan. So the chicken that went in first was getting overdone and dry. And the chicken she put in last was barely getting done. Um, so there we have it. That's all there is to it. I have a lot of great recipes at lovesanddishes.net that you can uh, look at for uses for this chicken. Um, and I have a new one coming out probably in the next week or so. For poppy seed chicken oh boy it is good we had that last night so that made me think I don't think I have this on the website so now we'll be eating it again next week <laughs> anyway you take care have a wonderful week I'm thinking about you and praying for you and um, I hope you keep me in your prayers too there's a piece see the color on that Oh, I froze it. Okay, there we go. It's got a little color on it. And it's got some salt and pepper. And we're done. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Hey, this is Wendy. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you'll join Sarah and I on our mother-daughter adventures and takeout. You can find Dorks with Sports wherever you download podcasts or at dorkswithsports.com.